Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I have before you a 12 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas and I am going to do a Dutch pour on this using a bunch of different pinks and a little bit of violet in there and we'll see what happens with this. I can't even begin to tell you guys how many times I have done this. So I think I've done this five times already. All failures from in one sense or another, or I just wasn't happy with it. Um, the failures for a lot of them, um, I think three of the five were from using Floetrol in my base. And I know some people have been able to do that um, and still use primary elements. And that was the other thing that I really wanted to do was that I wanted to use uh, primary elements in this particular pour. So I got a lot of fractaling from it and I thought, well, maybe my white was too thin, but I, even when I thickened it up, even thicker than the paints I was pouring on it, I still got fractaling. So I have now mixed everything here with um, Vivid Polypore from Color Art. So my colors today, I am using a mix, as I said, of Color Art and also Amsterdam paints. And this one here, this nice beautiful pink color is Persian Rose. So I'm gonna do like a little something like that. Next up is Color Arts um, from the Bling It series, and it's Interference Violet. So it looks white, but it has like a violet flash to it. Now when it dries, it will look violet and quite shimmery. All of the uh, Interference and Color Art paints have mica in them they're also semi-transparent. So that's why I have a combination of semi-transparent and um, opaque paints, because the opaques will stay strong and the semi-transparents, um, you'll be able to, with the semi-transparents, you'll be able to see the opaques kind of come up through them. So that's what we have. This next one is Amsterdam's Red Violet. And I think I'll, no, I'm going to start on canvas. I really like this ready purpley color. I'll take it off. All right. I'm leaving my little containers open in case I decide to add a little more, and I might. All right. Up next is another one of the Bling It series, and this is Interference Red. So it has a little red flash to it. So I'm gonna stick that over top of the red violet. Kind of. You know, it's not doesn't have to be perfect. Looks like I'll be using all of that one. So this one has definitely uh, tested my uh, patience and my, my uh, will to succeed over the paint. This, like I said, sixth time and third canvas. So the last canvas that I had used, um, how many times would that be? <laughs> to the end of the week. Um, I think I used it four times and I decided that it was a cursed canvas. So I'm just waiting for it to fully dry and yeah, it's going to go in the trash. So sad, but it happens sometimes. 
All right, next one is Amsterdam Primary Magenta. Yeah, I got a nice good layer of that on there. Next up, check out this color. This one, Primary Elements jasmine it is pretty much fluorescent but super super duper sparkly love it it will absolutely make a statement on this it's gonna give it that extra pop of color there we go and last but not least another one of my favorites Primary Elements Venetian Rose. I think I've used this in other pores and I call it my Ruby Slippers color. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, I think I'll start over on this side with it. See how rich that is? Just enough on that one too. Obviously really like this color. <laughs> As uh, there's only little drags here and there. Put that there. Where else should I put a drop? Put a drop there. These little containers are great. Um, they're just little one ounce containers from Lully Vethy and they will keep your paint safe and secure in here. All right, do I want to add, you know, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of this red violet. Put a little line on there. And Might as well finish these up, right? All right. And the pink. That beautiful Persian rose yeah I was just thinking about roses I don't know why I thought I want to do a Dutch pour that's kind of rose inspired so that's what I've been attempting to do all week all right there are my paints and now we're just gonna torch out, there's bubbles in here, just from air bubbles from laying down the paint. Even though I've had these mixed for a few days, not really a few days, since yesterday. All right, I think we are good to go. All right, I'm gonna start blowing this.
Okay, that turned out quite well. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I can manipulate um, the paint now just using my mouth to create a little more petal look here. I'm just gonna give this a quick torch. But generally speaking, I'm pretty happy. Now, hopefully it just stays like this. A couple things. I'm gonna grab my skewer. I can get the pointy end though. Just something right there. I think I got a little close to the uh, paint here. I need to get that out with the tweezers. With the torch and it burn the paint. Hold on, Cosmo. My dog wants out. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Oh, the joys of owning pets. Okay, I'm gonna try and blow that up a little bit. I like it. Just fine tune this however you want. That's good. That needs to be fixed. That's very jaggedy. For me, it was very jaggedy. And I don't like that, so I'm just gonna take my finger and erase it. You can do that. All right. This needs a little help. That needs a little help. I was getting hard to blow there. I'm back on the other side now. Okay, maybe I'll shift some of that. go. Come back around now. I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm not wanting the composition to go off the end here or here, so hopefully they don't do that. It shouldn't because the canvas is already drying here on the edge. Um, and everything is perfectly leveled. That was one of my mistakes.
I got so concerned about the paint and the fractaling that I was getting. And then on my last one, I was just slapping the paint down. And then I realized my mistake and it was just like, gosh darn it, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. So I knew then it was time to quit. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I am actually pretty happy with this, just the way it is. Do I want to do anything else? So in my head, the Dutch pours should look like either flower petals kind of blowing on a breeze or scattered on the ground or like a scarf floating and flying through the air. That's what I think of and that's what I'm trying to create. Twisting, twisting and turning. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that like that. Do I wanna add more out that way? Wait till you guys see the shine. Lots of shine. Oop, I see, I think it's a dog here. Yep, get that out. That would be my dog, Wyatt. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to blow much here. It's drying. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to bring you guys down in just a second so that you can see the close-up. So stay tuned. All right. We're going to come down and have a look at this. Let me know what you think of, of this composition. I am very, very happy with it. Um, I am going to turn the lights out and come back and show you what it looks like with the flash on so that you can see the shimmer and shine. So hold on one second. Okay, I am back. So let's move in and see what we can see here. See that shine in there, look at that. It's got a little bit of that violet going over the red. This is what is so awesome about these paints is that they just create um, this beautiful blending. Now you see that purple that's kind of right there above that red dot, or the white dot, sorry? That is that interference violet. That right there, that sparkly bit in the middle where the dot is, is the interference red that's over that bright pink, the jasmine, and the red. It's just super, super, super shimmery. And when this gets coated with um, varnish on it, it is going to be amazing. Look at that. Look at all these colors. So all of these are standing out more because, you know, you've got the, the opaques in that light pink, which was the Persian rose. You have the dark purple that was in there. That was the red violet. And even the bright pink, um, the magenta, the primary magenta, in there just helps to make those primary or the color art primary elements and that bling it uh, series there's some of the red now the red bling it see that sparkle with the white that looks red there you go just look how cool that is there's that purple again the bling it interference violet
I love it. I absolutely love it. Just look at that. I am absolutely ecstatic that this finally worked. No fractaling. The composition is not flowing off the edge because I did not forget to completely level it. So all in all, I am a happy camper, but I want to know what you guys think of this. Um, if you like what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you're a new, new um, viewer, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Just generally speaking though, I do upload videos every Friday at 10.30 a.m. Phoenix time. All right, thank you all for watching. Until the next video, bye for now.